Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to state the products for the complete combustion of alcohols. You should then be able to balance equations showing the complete combustion of alcohols. Now alcohols can be used as fuels. The combustion of alcohols is an exothermic reaction releasing energy. I'm showing you here the balanced equation for the complete combustion of ethanol. As you can see in combustion we react the alcohol with oxygen. And if there's plenty of oxygen available, then complete combustion takes place. In complete combustion, we produce carbon dioxide and water. And this is the case no matter which alcohol is being combusted. Now in the exam, you could be asked to balance a combustion equation. And some students find this tricky. I'm going to take you through the process and give you some examples to try yourself. Before we start, I just want to remind you that when we balance an equation, we can only use large numbers. We can never change any small numbers in any of the molecules involved. And remember that a large number in front of a molecule multiplies all of the atoms in that molecule. Here's the complete combustion of ethanol again, but without the balancing numbers. When balancing a combustion equation, I'd recommend starting with the number of carbon atoms. In the ethanol molecule, we have two carbon atoms. However, a molecule of carbon dioxide only contains one carbon atom. So we need two molecules of carbon dioxide to balance the carbon atoms. Next, we need to balance the hydrogen atoms. In the ethanol molecule, we have six hydrogen atoms. However, one molecule of water contains two hydrogen atoms. So we need three molecules of water to balance the hydrogen atoms. OK, now we can balance the oxygen atoms. First, we need to add up all of the oxygen atoms in the product molecules. The two carbon dioxide molecules contain a total of four oxygen atoms. And the three water molecules contain a total of three oxygen atoms. So this means that we have a total of seven oxygen atoms in our product molecules. This means that we need seven oxygen atoms in the reactants to balance the equation. Ethanol contains one oxygen atom. So we need three oxygen molecules to provide the remaining six oxygen atoms. We now have seven oxygen atoms in the reactants and our equation is balanced. OK, I'm showing you here the equation for the complete combustion of methanol. As you can see to balance this equation, we need 1.5 molecules of oxygen. Now when you get a decimal like this, you can double all of the balancing numbers to get whole numbers. And I'm showing you that here. OK, here's an equation for you to balance. This shows the complete combustion of butanol. Pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, butanol contains four carbon atoms, so we'll make four molecules of carbon dioxide. Butanol contains ten hydrogen atoms, so we'll make five molecules of water. We have a total of 13 oxygen atoms in our products. This means that we need 13 oxygen atoms in the reactants to balance the equation. Butanol contains one oxygen atom. So we need six oxygen molecules to provide the remaining 12 oxygen atoms. We now have 13 oxygen atoms in the reactants and our equation is balanced. Here's a final equation for you to balance. This shows the complete combustion of propanol. Pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, propanol contains three carbon atoms, so we'll make three molecules of carbon dioxide. Propanol contains eight hydrogen atoms, so we'll make four molecules of water. We have a total of ten oxygen atoms in our products. This means that we need ten oxygen atoms in the reactants to balance the equation. Propanol contains one oxygen atom, so we need 4.5 oxygen molecules to provide the remaining nine oxygen atoms. We now have ten oxygen atoms in the reactants, and our equation is balanced. Finally, we can get whole numbers by doubling all of the balancing numbers like this. OK, so hopefully now you can balance equations showing complete combustion of alcohols. 